For the following tutorial, uh, you must be familiar with how to add constraints programmatically to objects. Uh, I do have a tutorial on that, so do check it out in the description. Hey guys, I'm Yash. Today I will show you how to animate objects. Uh, we will be doing animations on constraints. So let's get started. Just a quick reminder guys, for this tutorial, you should be knowing how to add constraints programmatically to any object. Uh, I do have a tutorial on that. Uh, in the very same tutorial, we created this programmatically constraints project. So do have a look. So let's get started. Open project programmatically constraints. Let's run it once so that we can see what we created last time. So this is what we created last time. So let's get started with animating. I'll just put it to full screen. Okay. First of all, we will create a variable top constraint is equal to an s layout constraint. And we will just replace it with this. Okay, the reason, be, uh, reason behind doing this is uh, just that we can change the attributes of this uh, this variable outside this function. Okay, uh, that is how we will animate object. Second thing is we need a variable, a boolean variable. Okay, I'll just. Okay, we need a boolean variable for checking that uh, is the object animated or not is animating so variable is animating is equal to true then let's create a function uh, and uh, yeah we will be doing performing animation on the press of the very same button so yeah play pressed so first of all if is animating what we will do is ui view dot animate with time interval which will be 0 0.5 press enter and code goes here is self dot top constraint dot constant is equal to 100 and what else we can do is let's make the corners round okay so it will be self dot button dot layer dot corner radius is equal to 10.0 okay and uh, again self dot view dot layout if needed okay so and uh, we do need to have an else statement again ui view dot animate with time interval of 0 0.5 press enter and self dot top constraint dot constant uh, in this else uh, statement will bring it back to the position where it was so the reason behind putting zero here is that it's zero here okay so again self dot button dot layer dot corner radius is equal to zero and uh, self dot view dot layout if needed okay and uh, finally we will just uh, change the polarity of the boolean object so it will be null is anyway type and again uh, now we need to bind the event to the button so let's do it button dot add target which will be self selector will be hash selector uh, play pressed and for ui control event which is an enum which will be touch up inside and uh, let's run app is running so now as you may see the button is animating okay this is the button which we used to relate the constraint so let's get rid of it
just uh, click and press delete and run again by the way sh uh, shortcut for running uh, the program is command r and stopping it is command and uh, full stop uh, full stop key so yeah it's working thank you guys keep watching